Welcome. I'm Kinetic Symphony. I hunt down and report on mysterious and weird true stories from glitches to the paranormal. Case file number 164, written by Apple Doom. Between the wall and her bed, a black hole that never lets go. So I personally can't go to sleep without some ambient noise being present. As such, I've gotten into the habit of listening to podcasts through my AirPods when I go to sleep. I tend to move around a lot in my sleep, so usually they fall out of my ears at night. One night about two or three weeks ago, I was woken up by the sound of my AirPod rolling into the small crack between my bed frame and my wall. I didn't want to get up to go pick it up, so I just thought, oh well, I'll get it when I wake up for school in a couple hours. When I woke up, I went to look for it but it wasn't on the floor where I thought it had fallen, so I just guessed it was between my mattress and the frame, or rolled up in the covers or something. Later when I got home from school to finish looking for it, it was nowhere to be found. I flipped over every part of my bed to look for it, and even called in my mom to help me look for it, and it was just nowhere to be found. I gave up looking for it, and kinda just assumed I lost it somewhere else. A couple days ago, I had gotten up to get a midnight snack, which was a bag of tackies, and they also had fallen in between the crack of my bed frame and wall, and when I got up to go look for them, the same thing happened. When I flipped over everything, I still couldn't find them anywhere. And lastly, today, I was going to take a shower. I left my necklace on the edge of my bed, in between typically where things usually fall off my bed. It fell through the crack, and this time, I visually saw it. So I went to go take my shower, and came back to look for it once I was done. And I did the same thing, flipped over some stuff, and I still couldn't find it. So I called my dad in to help me shake around the bed frame, a couple times at least, and I still couldn't find it. So this marks a total of three things that have been lost in the exact same place. Case Notes, file number 164. It's likely a disappearing object phenomena. My guess is these objects will eventually reappear. The only problem is, timing is impossible to predict. And for some reason, my mind also goes to the possibility of a cursed object, maybe the bed frame. Could be nothing, but do you know where you got the frame from? The author responded to my comment, saying, I don't know where the frame is from, my parents bought it for me. But the objects did reappear, both happened to be near sinks and walls. My AirPod was behind where my toilet is on the floor next to my shower, and my necklace appeared in my jewelry box. I feel like I'm going crazy. I know for a fact both objects fell through the crack. Still no chips though. And I responded briefly saying, Don't worry, you're definitely not crazy. At least not by my standards. Because I've had an object disappear basically right from my hand. Impossibly. And just never had it return. Anyways, I'm glad that you got your necklace back at least. Case file number 165. Written by Kupoa Dude. Dad's home. We all hear him. Wait, where is he? Where did he go? This happened 15 years ago. My dad usually finished work at 5pm, but this night it was really busy and he rang to say he probably wouldn't be home until about 9pm. I was inside our living room watching a football match with our dog, rest in peace Jesse, snuggled up on the couch. My sister was in the kitchen doing her homework. We were the only two people downstairs as my mom was taking a shower and my brother was in his bedroom. To make it easier to follow, I'll describe what each of us heard as we were all in different parts of the house. Shortly after I hear a key enter the front door, our door can only be opened with a key from the outside, and the usual distinct sound of it opening. Jesse's ears perked up and I remember being excited because this meant dad was home and we'd be able to watch the rest of the match together. Usually when he arrived home from work, he would stick his head in, but I thought nothing of it because he was probably just tired after his long day. About 30 seconds later, I hear this person start walking up the stairs. Like a lot of people, I can easily recognize footsteps, and this definitely sounded like the usual slow way my dad walks up the stairs. I thought no more of it and went back to watching the game. The stairs are in between the rooms where my sister and I both were, and she heard the same thing as well as the front door sounds. My mom, who is still in the bathroom, hears the same footsteps, and when they reach the top of the stairs, she too assumes they were my dad's and shouts out, 
Is that you, Niall? You're home earlier than you said. But gets no response. My brother hears all the same things and notices how strange it was that my dad didn't reply to my mom, as he could hear who he thought was my dad in the landing outside the bathroom. He remembers there was about 30 seconds of silence until he heard more footsteps. This time, it's the sound of steps walking up the attic stairs. He doesn't ever hear anyone walk back down from the attic. Here's the thing. Dad never came home, even though everyone heard him open the door and walk up both flights of stairs. Mom ends up ringing his workplace and he answers, confirming he's still at work. We're all freaked out by this stage. So much so that my brother and I end up going to the attic together with a knife and a baseball bat because we thought there was an intruder. But no one was there. We never figured it out. And it was the only time something like that ever happened to us. Case notes, file number 165. So that even your dog Jesse heard when something came through the door. This to me means something pretty happened in the sense that an entity of some kind really did enter your home and interact with it physically. The door, the weight pressed against the stairs, the fact it even had the cadence of your father is the weird part. It's not just some intruder that somehow burgled into a home and then paused for 30 seconds at weird intervals and then went upstairs in the attic and vanished without doing anything or stealing anything? No. And it's not just a random spirit manifesting because this one, whatever it was, interacted physically and even had weight to it. Even when spirits manifest in a way that appears concrete, they don't really have any gravitas to them. It's still just a facsimile, not the real thing. Your father, fully alive, was somehow duplicated in some way and then that duplication just vanished. Honestly, I have no real explanation that makes any sense. If you enjoyed these stories, give the video a like.